So, being able to read another's mind. Whether it be figuring out whether or not that girl likes you or being able to react to the intentions of your opponent. For many, it seems like a feat beyond one's capacity. But what if I told you that you already could? You as who you are can already read minds. You're actually built to as a tribal animal to intuitively feel what another person is feeling. So that being said, why don't we realize we have this capacity? Because we as cerebral beings overcomplicate it. When we look at someone we second guess ourselves, then we second guess or second guess and second guess even that while the opportunity slowly fades away, leaving us in nothing but regret. We are pumped with societal standards that say your feeling isn't true because you need this for it to be true, it says you need to have this and without this you won't have that. Over time, through all of these thoughts, we start to pound a bunch of crap all over the truth. The truth is simple. It's not as complicated as we make it out to be. The truth is, human emotion is universal and we as societal creatures are built to feel and understand them. Meditation pulls your mind out of itself and pushes it into the present moment. When you stop judging, making assumptions, overthinking the moment, your intuitive sense starts to pick up the environment through feeling. The feelings that are instinctively encoded into you to understand other people as you again are a tribal creature who communicated emotions before the intricacy of our language and its demands came in. So reading emotions is not a difficult task if you can silence your mind from pulling you out of presence. But this is about reading one's mind. How do we do that? How do we read another's inner language? You can never fully encapsulate the language in another's mind, but you can always get a rough feel. And again, you don't do that by making blind assumptions, by making random guesses. You feel one's emotions through presence, thus you feel their intent as you genuinely presently listen to them. Because feeling is typically the filter that one expresses their language, if you know their emotion in the present as you listen to their words, incongruencies and congruencies can give you a rough understanding of what they are thinking. Here's a simple example. You go to a coffee shop and you simply ask the cashier, how was your day? They say, it was good. Now in presence, you intuitively feel, without thought or judgment, that they're actually very unhappy. This could be for many reasons, but one of them is quite possibly that they hate where they are. They aren't passionate about where they are and they would rather be somewhere else. That might not always be true, maybe you just caught them on a bad day. And so fixating on an absolute belief the first time you see it is not a clear indicator of their character. We should read emotions through feeling and behavior in the moment, but reading into someone's character is something that should be done over time not through assumption based upon only one experience. As you get to know someone through listening in presence, you'll be able to complete sentences for them. This is difficult for many simply because we don't speak to understand but instead speak to respond. The moment we stop trying to push what we have inside and actively choose to understand, through their emotional disposition, you will be able to understand what they are thinking. But what about that cute girl or the opponent? This seems like a long process. Well, there are certain cues you can use to pick up instantly whether or not they would be receptive to you. And I could give you a list of body language and behavior, but that's all stupid. You don't need a long list and precise words of what they are thinking to act in the moment. If that girl is aroused and receptive, you should be able to feel it if you are present because again, human emotion including arousal and interest are universal. You are built to pick up on it so as long as you are presently immersed in the environment and not in your head. Even if she pretends to not be interested because she doesn't want to look promiscuous or wants to avoid possible rejection, when you are present to the moment feeling beyond the surface and into the emotion, it comes without you having to think about it. You just feel the truth naturally as a byproduct of the social tribal creature we have been for millennia. This goes for martial arts as well. When someone wants to smash you with killer intent, if you don't overthink it and you feel it in the present moment, you know when someone is looking at you with killer intent. And when you get used to that feeling, you can feel spikes of intent 
when they want to come in. This may sound contradictory to what a lot of you would like to hear because you want a way to encase what you're seeing in language and techniques. You want to know with words in your head because that's where you are most comfortable spending your time. But trust me, that's not the truth of what you really want. Because by the time you finish writing that sentence in your mind, you'll get punched in the mouth or you'll, or you'll creep out that girl by staring too long. So that's really it two things. It's simple, but takes work to execute. Presence to the moment, which meditation will help you achieve, and listening to understand, not to respond. It was never complicated, and it's something within every human being's capacity so as long as they have this portion of the brain known as mirror neurons, which most of you do. If you don't, it's called Asperger's. If you meditate, thus freeing yourself from assumptions, judgments, and societal programming, the brilliant creature you always were will finally come through. So that was my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.